Everybody's freaking out that Donald Trump might be president. And if he can't, oh my God, what if he becomes president? What if he becomes president? That means that half the Republican Party and the whole Democratic Party will work against him. And in two years, the Congress flips to liberal. In two years. That's how Donald Trump, if he's president, will wipe out the Republican Party because they will flip the Senate. They will flip the House. It'll be progressives in two years. And then in four years, Trump's out. We get a real progressive in. We have the whole goddamn government again. And it's not corporate Democrats. Bernie Sanders has laid down a template. He showed that those other Democrats who got in bed with Wall Street, big pharma, corporations, and big money, that they're chumps. Because you don't have to suck the teat of corporations and big money to be a viable candidate. If you just go out and speak from your heart and you actually respond to the voters, the voters will get fund you. He's being funded. He has an endless supply of money. He's raising more money than Hillary Clinton is. And who's he raising it from? Me. And he's raising it from you. That's the beauty. And in two years, we take over the Congress. In four years, we take over the White House. That's what I say. And Donald Trump's not going to be able to get anything done. Well, Donald Trump is going to try and do some neoliberal, neoconservative, any kind of crazy. It, the forces against him will coalesce. Now, if we have a quote unquote Democrat in that White House, like we had Barack Obama and we have Occupy Wall Street and he doesn't support it, it splits the natural support for something like Occupy Wall Street. So not where was Barack Obama during Occupy Wall Street? He was he was there letting the cops crack the heads of peaceful protesters at the behest of Wall Street. Wall Street gives millions of dollars to the New York police. New York police goes and cracks their heads. Barack Obama doesn't do anything about it. He splits the natural resistance. The nat he does. That's this is true. So that's what Hillary will do also. So she'll be trying to institute her neoliberalism. Half the Democrats will be fighting her on it. And all of the Republicans will be fighting her on it. You sound like we have more to win by having Trump in office than Bernie, though. No, no, if Bernie, no, if Bernie gets in, it'd be great. He changes everybody because because yeah, then... but he'll be he'll be he'll have a whole force against him as well, including he'll have all the Democrats on his side, Bernie, and because he's going to be what what Bernie's doing is scaring the crap out of the establishment right now. This is scaring them. They're afraid of, they're like, oh my God, you see, he's actually appealing to the voters. He's bringing in millions of new people, young people. He's the future. So Bernie's message is the future of the Democratic Party. Here we are. She wins New York. We're in middle of April and Hillary Clinton still doesn't have a message. No message. The message is with Ber Bernie Sanders. And that's the message of the future of the Democratic Party. And people are starting to catch on to that. So he's already laid down the template for how to do this. You don't have to take corporate cash. You don't have to do it. All you have to do is go speak to the people. So I'm saying don't freak out. And don't, and, and if, the, if, first of all, if Bernie Sanders becomes president, what a great day this will be. It will be opening all the closets where liberals have been beaten down for 40 years, beaten down. Liberals, they all have Stockholm syndrome. Well, we can never possibly have liberalism again in America, can we? We have to have this kind of piecemeal trickle down liberalism. We have to just take a little bit that they give whatever Wall Street, how much liberalism Wall Street and MSNBC will allow us, right? So if MSNBC, if Comcast wants the TPP, we're gonna have the TPP. So, I say don't freak out. What do you say about that if Trump is president? Are you well, freaking out like that? Do you have to vote for a neoliberal? I'm, I'm freaking and if we out, keep period. voting for neoliberals, they, if they can always count on our votes, if yes, the neoliberals. But I, can count I look on our forward to uh, trickle down change. It's always worked in the past. Yes. In every, no, but. Uh, uh, well, what about. I'm worried about this, the, the Supreme Court, of course, you know? Sure. The well, th Court. guess what? The, the Senate still has to confirm the Supreme Court. The Senate, by the way, I love how people say, hey, Bernie Sanders can't get any, how's he going to get anything done? He doesn't understand that there's Republicans. Ha, ha, ha. Barack Obama just nominated the Supreme Court. They're not going to even give him a hearing. I, he's a, somehow he's mm -hmm. better than Bernie? He, he go ahead and he nominates a freaking Republican. They won't say yes to him. At least he should nominate a lefty. 
So that's so we're going to talk about that in a different video. I don't want to get conflate things. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, there you go. Don't freak out. Hillary Clinton has to earn your vote. She Hillary Clinton is not the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party is not Hillary Clinton. You're the Democratic Party. And she has to earn your vote. Your vote, you don't give it to anybody. She's not entitled to your vote. She's entitled to enough already. Make her earn your vote. And I'm not afraid of a Trump. Don't be afraid of a Trump president. The whole country, all of a sudden, we're all going to turn into a bunch of Nazis. It's not going to happen. I feel it coming on. We're all going to coalesce. It will be, if, 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 if Bernie... If Bernie is our uh, nominee, he'll become president, he will crush Trump, and we will have a progressive revolution. If Trump wins, if it's Trump against Hillary, pretty good chance he beats Hillary. So then we're stuck with Trump because Hillary was our nominee. Now we're stuck with Trump. And I say, not that scary. The whole country coalesces against him. He's left again with his goofy little coalition of racists, <laughs> misogynists, the establishment wants Hillary more than Trump. So they'll also be, don't worry, I'm telling you, don't freak out. All roads lead to a progressive revolution except for Hillary Rodham Clinton.